Hello everyone, and welcome back. It's time for episode two of this year's Winter Workshop Projects. The camera guy said, that are you plywood anymore, so. It's always that um, chipboard stuff. Yeah, but. Well, I came in here yesterday when I started this video, and my dad was in here, but I uh, wasn't doing a whole... We just sat there and talked, is all we did, so there really wasn't that much to film. I brought in another two wheelbarrow loads full of wood tonight. Right now it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and uh, I just uh, filled up the stove and shut her all down. The cabinet he's working on here for my brother Chris and sister-in-law Teresa. He's got some uh, aromatic cedar on the side now. He put the centerpiece in. He's got the little things to hold the shelves. I'm sure tomorrow he will be out here, but uh, straight from work tomorrow I'm going to go up to the farmhouse. So. We'll have to take a look back at this. Uh, I, I'll be coming back here on Sunday. I will see you guys then. Well, I got home from the farmhouse a little bit ago. It's about uh, 9.30 right now. I haven't been out to the workshop and I haven't been here in a couple of days, so I want to see what my dad has done so I don't fall behind too much here. Looks like he's finished this side here, and he's put the front pieces on also. Oh, he got this side down also. That looks pretty good. I see that the shelves are cut here, and he has this face on there. That's the part that you'll see. He's got some aromatic cedar on that also. And the back, he still has to put stuff on that. I will start the stove in the morning. Tomorrow I'll go to work. I'm here for tomorrow, and then the following morning I'm gonna head, I'll start the stove. And then I'm gonna head back up to the farmhouse because that's Christmas Eve day. So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. And after that, it'll be a couple days until I'm back. Good morning, everybody. It's 5.45 right now. I just came in here and started the stove for my dad. I got my truck running. I'm just about to jump in and run up to the farmhouse here for the Christmas. Today is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow will be Christmas. He was out here yesterday. He's got some logs here. I suppose that these are going to probably go in the corners. I'm not real sure what he's doing with these. And I see he got a coat of varnish on the two shelves that are going inside of that cabinet. I'm leaving right now, but I'll be home tomorrow night, and we'll take a look and see what he got done. I should got in this crack. Oh, maybe, and then change that color up there. <laughs> because it, um... I... <laughs> Well, hello everybody. I just got back after being up at the farmhouse for, I don't know, five or six days anyway. I just was inside the workshop and my dad's been out here a few times working on that cabinet. And it looks like he's making some pretty good progress. I'll be back here for the next couple of days, so we'll keep taking a look. I think pretty soon we'll have to start working on that top. We'll come out and take another look tomorrow. Well, I'm back out here in the workshop. I brought a whole bunch of wood in for my dad. 
I saw that he brought in a few loads today and I brought in, I think it was five wheelbarrow fulls, so he should be good for quite a while here. As you can see, he has made some progress today. He's got the top on there now. Chris and Teresa wanted uh, an oak top on here, so that's what it's going to look like. We'll have to see how he finishes that off. I know he's going to put those, I don't know, little log thingies for the edge here. Which we talked about in a previous video, and he's had these drying now for, oh, I bet it's been a month. Tomorrow morning I'll come out here and start the stove for him, and then I'll have to go to work. And then right from work I'm going to drive straight up to the farmhouse. So it'll be a couple of days before I see this again. And I'll definitely come in here and show you guys what's happened. Well, it's a few days later. Let's go inside. My dad is definitely making some progress. The actual top of the cabinet now has some stain on it. And you can see here that he's getting ready to put the edge on that top. It looks like he was experimenting with one of them today. But what he has been doing is pouring some of that I don't know what it's called now, we used to call it decoupage or whatever, kind of a bar top type stuff in here, so it helps hold those pieces into place. I mean, I'm, for you guys, this is just a video, I mean, I text with him and talk with him every day, and uh, I knew he was doing this, and he, uh, he said the hardest part is just you have to get this perfectly level, <laughs> and the cabinet's not level, so he had to level this side, and when I got back... Um, from the farmhouse yesterday this one was up level and now today I get back from work here and this one is level and everything is poured. We just finished up a job today so tomorrow I'm off. Well I'm off but I actually have a nine o'clock appointment to get my oil changed in the diesel and then I'm gonna I'm gonna be heading up to the farmhouse but hopefully I can get out here and maybe get a little footage of him out here working. Oh, all the fires there are ridiculous. Millions. This here, they could use it to push all over. Oh, be like a handle, yeah. And you could hand put towels there. Oh yeah, that would be nice, you know. You don't really put the bottom on it. Yeah, yeah, I don't care if it shows more on the... That's I was wondering if I should go two and a half, or I'll probably go two only. And then, um, yeah, because most of them aren't this thick. Right, those are bigger ones. That's there. right. Yeah. yeah. So I probably won't do the real big or real small because I measured it out and the ones on there's all I need. Yeah, I'll have a lot oh, really? of extra. So. That's enough to do that. Oh, I suppose if you're not going to do this back part, that's enough to do all of it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I would have thought it would have taken more than that. I do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, really? So yeah. it must be pretty open there. No, it must be. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. Or you yeah, but when did you, did you first go in there? You know, I couldn't find it at first, but so when we go around the corner of this road comes here, you go here and there's a few houses and farms, but then you go a little further and there's a field, and there's a small farm back in. Right on the edge of that field is a road to go up to the area, and I'm because I remember I was going to pull, and I, and I thought, this my safety on. So I hurry up and looked, I said, no, that's good, and I hurry up and pulled. Really? Huh. But every one of them, so. They all have that same trouble. Wow. But, but I'm going to go to, 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 to
that, that, that one's two of this your gun plates here. Yeah, try them and see if they do. I don't know if they do that, but they they might, you know. Oh, I just drove back from the farmhouse. I've got a work meeting this afternoon. I see my dad's in the workshop. Let's see what's happened in the last few days. Right over here. How did that work, sanding this, so? Yeah, well, I had most of that done, but I'm gonna have over here. Well, Well, I just came out to do chores because I'm leaving again before light tomorrow morning to head up to the farmhouse. And I wanted to take a look and see what happened here. I see is just putting these corners on right now. That's got to be just tedious hard work <laughs> putting all that in there. And it looks like he got all these cut down with the table saw so they're all the same exact width. Tomorrow about 5.30 in the morning I'll come out here and start the stove for my dad and then I'm going to head up to the farmhouse and I will be back here Sunday and we'll take a look and see how far he's gotten. Alright, well I'm back out here in the workshop after work. It's nice and warm in here right now. My dad has been out here working on this. I see he added some more wood down here and he started to do the tedious task of getting these things to go around this this corner. We've been talking about that because he has to round it in here to get it to fit. That's going to look really nice but it's going to take a little bit of time. He has all these cut down and then he dipped them in uh, varnish so they get covered on all sides and then let them dry, and then they're ready here to be put on. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I think I'll end this video right now because I'm not going to be here for a few days. And we'll come back and it'll probably be the final episode of this project uh, will be the following video. And I know he has more projects yet to come this winter. I will see you guys on the next video. It's time for me to head north.